We did not see the man who followed behind us, for in the summer of 1490, before the Inquisition brought fear and suspicion to our town, I didn't glance constantly around me when I went about my business. After all, I was Zarita, daughter of a rich and powerful magistrate, and I could go where I pleased. And on that day in August, a day so hot that even the cats had slunk from sun to shade to find some coolness, I was escorted by Ramon Salazar, a handsome young nobleman who had declared he would die for love of me. Ramon sauntered at my side, his new sword of Toledo steel swinging at his hip as we made our way along an unpaved street in the old port. He took his role as my protector very seriously, pulling his face into a frown and giving severe looks to every passerby. We were here because I wanted to visit the church on the cliff overlooking the sea. At 16, Ramon was only a year older than I and had never fought a duel, yet he swaggered along beside me like any experienced soldier. Ramon stayed by the main entrance while I went into the church to light a candle. It took several moments for my eyes to adjust to the gloom, so I didn't notice the side door open and the figure of a man enter. He stood in the darkness, this man, and watched me. And he waited behind a pillar while I lit the candle and knelt to pray. Then, when I opened my purse to take out some money for an offering, he darted towards me. 